What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 70 and today's topic I'll be going to show you guys how to load llama 3 or how to use llama 3 with the help of Langchain by using grok api okay so i have seen couple of videos or maybe uh, hundreds of uh, hundred thousands of videos are available how to use llama 3 using olama or maybe hugging face and if you want to download it maybe you can do a, a like inference within your like gpu lots of videos are available so basically why i am doing this thing in a different way because uh, most of my viewers are actually using a very old computer and a laptop in that laptop maybe those processors are actually not working very uh, like um, very fast or most and efficient most efficient way okay so i thought of creating this video so that this is this tutorial is actually going to help them like those are actually not able to load the ola uh, load the llama 3 uh, from their machine or maybe if they're not able to get access to the hugging face model okay so what I'll be going to do, I'll be going to use uh, Grok API or Grok AI API key to load the uh, Meta Llama 3 model and I'll be going to do some sort of question and answering using the Langchain uh, prompt template, okay. This is going to be a very complete tutorial where I'll show you how to use Llama 3 with the help of Grok API and I'll show you how to actually integrate these things using Langchain, okay. So without wasting much time, what are the things required? I'll show you. First, you have to create and grow API uh, key from this link, okay? And then you have to set an environment variable with this thing. I already done this uh, to completed these two steps, and then you have to install this thing and install this thing, okay? okay. So before I do any theory i think uh, it's not required so what is grok grok is a company specialized in perf creating high performance ai inference solution so basically they are not grok is not a company who is creating the models or similar thing no grok is actually a company those are actually creating hardware they call it as lpo language processing unit so basically your uh, large language model can be loaded from this sort of hardware very fast and after creating those hardwares, they are actually deployed those hardwares as a service model from the cloud. And after that, you can actually access them using an API key. So basically, it's a software service, but internally, they are providing the hardware capabilities from their like chipset or like from their computer. Okay, so that we can uh, we can load any model very fast and also you can work with them efficiently. Okay. So without wasting much time, let me go ahead with the actual coding. Okay. So we have to install this thing, pip install grok and pip install langchain grok. Okay. So first thing first, I'll be going to minimize this thing, open this thing. And let's try to actually install pip3 install grok. Okay. So I believe this is already installed. Okay, so this thing requirement is completed or so successful. So I'll be going to langchain hyphen grok. Okay, done. So let's see. Okay, so this is done. Now what we'll be going to do, we'll be going to actually uh, create our solution. Okay. Okay, so installation is done. So let's start working on the code part. So basically, first thing first, we'll be going to write here uh, from Langchain, okay? Uh, Langchain dot prompts. We have to install uh, import chat prompt template, and last thing will be from Langchain Grok. So we'll be going to import chat grok okay so these things are available in the langchain documentation you can easily check it now next thing what we'll be going to do we'll be going to actually create a variable called llm and we'll be going to uh, load the uh, llama 3 model from here right so basically model is going to be let's say what exactly we'll be going to do so model will be uh, i'll be going to take the name from here so basically if you go to this here like everything is available here and these are the models we'll be going to get it from here so basically i'll be going to use this model okay let's see okay so let's execute this thing see whether i'm getting any error or not so what it is saying uh,
so what is this mm, I don't understand then person characters is the operator is reserved for future use okay so let's execute again I don't know what sort of error is coming so it is not giving me any error so it means it is working fine right so let's see what we can do now we'll be going to create a prompt template right so that is a normal thing whenever you want to do something you have to actually create a prompt template right so as I said I'll be going to use the lang chain as well so basically uh, we'll be going to create system okay mm, so we'll be going to write you are an intelligent assistant okay and now what we'll be going to do uh, we'll be going to actually write let's say human equals to let's say text okay something like that we'll be going to do it okay so now we'll be going to create our chat from template with this okay so what actually we'll be going to write so it will be going to be prompt so prompt okay prompt and there we'll be going to write uh, chat from template dot from message okay from a message right and what will be inside so we're going to like this okay so inside that uh, this is going to be this and inside that there will be a list so this is going to be a list okay right so like this and this list is actually going to contain two tuples okay this is one tuple and this is here this is going to be another tuple okay like this so first one will be going to be like system so we'll write system and system is actually going to get the value from system so it is not going to like this it is going to be system like this okay and here it will be human and human means uh, human means human so basically human and this human is actually going to get value from here so basically human right done all done right now we have to actually invoke this thing but before that we have to actually create a lang chain lcl language okay lcl language or lang chain expression language we have to create so basically i'm just going to write a chain chain is actually going to be prompt okay like this and we have to write like llm right okay prompt and llm and after that what will be going to do We'll be going to write response equals to chain dot invoke okay and here i'll be going to pass the value of this text nothing else okay so basically it should be like this like this text okay and here we'll be going to write uh, create a for loop to print uh, table of six create a for loop to print the table of six okay let's see whether it is able to do it or not and then we'll be going to print this thing print response okay let's see okay so i don't know what is this happening here so <laughs> strange okay so let's delete delete let's execute this thing from here okay something is doing so basically it is the thing so it's doing so basically uh, content so i just need the content okay so response dot content so let's see okay okay so this is the uh, thing so print range this uh, output 1 to 3 4 6 so basically i set the uh, table of number 1 to 6 so basically it didn't understand what is the table so create a for loop to print the uh, numerical mathematical, mathematical table of 6 let's see whether it is able to understand this node yes now it is understand mathematical table okay so yeah 
so now we'll be going to ask something uh, uh, what is the mm, uh, mm, mm, what is the identity law of triangle what are the what are the identity laws of triangle in trigonometry let's see i don't know whether it will be able to do it or not so let's ask this question to him okay yeah so <laughs> it is able to do it okay okay oh my god it's able to do it okay so let's ask it some question okay uh, write all formulas for differentiation differentiation okay let's see okay good okay power rule so this is cool okay so that's it so uh, i believe this is very simple very easy and most of you guys are actually having problem to load llama 3 model and probably you guys are uh, doing the right thing and there is no problem with the other approach only problem is actually if you are using very old laptop or old hardware so sometime olama is actually not going to work on your computer i don't want to uh, get into those details what are there are you are getting how to solve yeah if you spend two three hours maybe that those things could be solved but again those error can come in the future as well if there are new updates are actually coming from llama 3 so this is a better way actually like you don't have to actually do anything else yeah obviously if you want to do some like highly expensive operation maybe that time you have to pay some money to grow but i haven't explored that part yet what are the charges api calling rate rate limit and etc obviously there should be something but again this is going to be very easy you don't have to do a lot of thing lot of configuration lot of prerequisite right so in this way you can actually load the load the llama 3 model and also you can integrate the same thing with the help of langchain so codes are actually more or less similar if you are watching this playlist for last two three months if you if you're familiar with the langchain then it is not going to be a problem for you only thing the model name you have to change so basically you have to understand one thing if you know one framework like whether it's a langchain or llama index you will be able to do anything and everything within the area of large language model development or ai application development or llm apps right so only thing you have to understand the concept and you have to actually uh, know little bit uh, uh, you have to know little bit about those tools so for that documentation is important the product documentation for example uh, maybe you can ask me this question how do i know so many things about this grok yeah i don't know anything like i just gone through two three hours spending some time with their documentation and the documentation link is also given here if you go to this link console.grok.com you will have every idea here so don't try to full or load your memory with unnecessary information this is not going to help you whenever you require something just go ahead and try to read their documentation in that way you will actually become a very efficient developer over the period of time suppose you think that you are going to learn something by reading those thing again and again yeah reading is good but you, there is no point of remembering this thing because whenever you require or any client job or any project you can go ahead and get the information from their website or documentation and you can put it right so only thing you have to learn the concept or way of coding or the way of uh, uh, like tackling some use case right those things you have to practice okay with that note i'll be just going to uh, close the video over here the upcoming videos will be more interesting with llama 3 voice enable chatbot uh, grok api for um, speech to text text to speech those things i'll be going to in, uh, like integrate in the upcoming tutorials so those tutorials will be very exciting just stay tuned with us i'll be going to upload more videos frequently but before i conclude this tutorial i would like to request you guys please try to subscribe to my channel hit the like button share my videos with your family and friend and try to support me um, by sharing my videos to the large number of audience because ultimate goal is actually to reach the 
large number of audience because more visibility will make me more like uh, uh, popular in the google algorithm and also i want to crack the google algorithm so that google start promoting my videos right so to help me uh, achieve my goal guys please help me please support me i'll be keep on uploading uh, or uploading more videos in the uh, coming days okay with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning